girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. I'm Pat Kazira. And uh, today we're going to have a very special book. It's actually a, a pop-up book and it's about a very lazy ladybug. And here she is. So she's just waiting while I tell you about my book. I wrote it, so I'm the author. It's called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. So I wrote this book after I taught for 50 years in the classroom and I wrote it to help your moms and dads. So it's for mommy and daddy to read and they can get it from amazonbooks.com and I'm sure it will help them to help you at school. All right, and these little stickers here are some of the awards that this book has, has won. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the lazy, very lazy ladybug. All right. This is a story about a very lazy ladybug. Sometimes we say ladybird. She liked to sleep all day long. She was too lazy to fly, but she wanted to sleep somewhere new. So she tried to catch a lift. That means get a ride on a passing animal. Let's see how she makes out. And this is a fun book because it's a pop-up book, so I think you'll really enjoy this one. The very lazy ladybird liked to sleep all day and all night, so she didn't know how to fly. One day she wanted to sleep somewhere new, but what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybird had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounded by, she just hopped into her pouch, but the kangaroo liked to jump. Oh, I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybird. It's far too bumpy. So then a tiger padded by, and she hopped onto his back. But the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, <laughs> She hopped onto his tail, but the crocodile liked to swish, swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'll fall into the river. So when a monkey swung by, she hopped onto her head, but the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'm feeling dizzy. So when a bear ambled by, she hopped onto his ear. But bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. He'll never sit still. So when an elephant trundled by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last, thought the lady ladybird, the lazy ladybird, I found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or scratch or swing. But at that very moment, the elephant sneezed. Achoo! And the poor, lazy ladybird had to fly at last. <laughs> well, that made her fly, didn't it? And you know, I don't know if you've ever had a ladybird land on you, but many children have. And when I was a little girl, we used to say this, Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are all alone. And as soon as you finish saying that, she just flies away. And it always worked for us. Now that's taken from a nursery rhyme. Now I'm sure you've all heard the nursery rhymes um, over and over again at school, but this one is Ladybird, Ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on fire, your children are gone, all except one, and that's little Anne. And she crept under the warming pan. And there's little Anne under the, the warming pan or the frying pan. So that's a very, very 
old nursery rhyme that maybe some of you also knew. So I hope you try that someday when a ladybug lands on you and see if she just flies away home right away. I love that book that we just read because it had so many wonderful big words in it like ambled and trundled and those are verbs. So those are action words. Always fun to read. Okay girls and boys, we'll see you next time for another session of Read Me a Story. Bye for now.